at weather.com. This weekend will be a great time to get out to one of our national parks to enjoy the fall color and the fall weather. As a matter of fact, Saturday is National Public Lands Day, and admission to all the national parks is free. And joining us live via Skype is Rob Hampton. He's the director for a National Public Lands Program. And Rob, tell us a little bit more about this National Public Lands Day. National Public Lands Day is the nation's largest single-day volunteer event for our public lands in the country. And it's not just national parks. It could be Forest Service sites, uh, BLM, but also national parks all the way down to your uh, state and local park that might be in your backyard. Rob, what sort of a turnout are you expecting? We're um, anticipating uh, about 170 to 180,000 volunteers at over uh, 2,100 different volunteer sites. And you know, Rob, how important is this event to preserving our national parks? Uh, well, it's very important, um, mainly because it's an excellent way to get um, the com community or the citizens of America um, out to um, our national parks and connected to the um, National Public Lands Day is often referred to as a catalyst day, um, and we hope that these people will go out and volunteer, and then they'll go back and actually use um, our national parks to recreate and learn in. Wait, so it, this is, is this about volunteering? You said it's also free. Is it free for volunteers? How exactly does it work? Oh, yeah, it's always free to volunteer um, at all, all of our public lands uh, units participating on National Public Lands Day. But it's also a fee-free day at all of our national parks. It's one of the few days a year that's free in our national parks. That's a perfect time to do it this time of the year. And if you have you know, a final message that you want to leave with everyone, Rob, before the National Public Lands Day is on Saturday, what would it be? I would just say if you are interested in volunteering for a National Public Lands Day uh, service event, go to publiclandsday.org. Uh, it's a program of the National Environmental Education Foundation and it's sponsored by Toyota Motor Sales USA. All right, thank you very much for that update. Mm -hmm. Rob Hampton, the director of the National Public Lands Program, again, this Saturday at 2,100 mm -hmm. sites across the country. Lots to pick from. All week, we're going to feature a different national park and give you the forecast for the weekend. And if you plan to get out and see the fall color, let's take a look at this in Maine as part of National Public Lands Day. Acadia National Park there. You might have to deal with a few raindrops, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be too chilly. Still 59 degrees on Saturday. One of my favorite parks, Cadillac Mountain. What place to be? All right, now it's